Hey everyone, Gage and Will here with Daniel. Uh, Daniel, we've come here today to directly talk to you about Puzzle and Dragons. Yes, sir. <laughs> so give, right now, give me the big breakdown. Why is this game so awesome? Uh, for, for, first of all, it's two games on one cartridge, what we're, show, what we're doing. Uh, it's Puzzle and Dragon Z plus Puzzle and Dragon Super Mario Brothers Edition. Um, it's based on a game that exists for Puzzle and Dragon. It's based on a franchise. And what we've done is taken it for Nintendo and made put Mario into it, make a whole skin around it, and then also bring in another game that was released a, a while back in Japan and bring it at the same time on one system. What's really cool about it, though, it, it, it's basically a puzzle game in its own right, and what you have are these different colored orbs. Um, there's red, blue, green, purple, and light. All uh, yellow, sorry. All representing different elements. And your goal, basically, is to match at least three of them, three or more, in any direct, they can be across, up, down, in T's or L's. And when you make those color matches happen, your team, which consists of like five monsters or five allies for the Nintendo version, the Mario version, those allies will attack. So the idea then is moving these orbs around the screen, not just moving it one spot over, but moving it all over a screen to make those make your teammates attack. So yeah, that's pretty much that's the basic idea of it. But the Mario one makes the Mario one great. It feels like a Mario game. So when you turn it on, you start playing, and it basically you start at World One. World 1-1. One, one. <laughs> World 1-1, one, one, yeah. World one. Princess Peach was kidnapped by Bowser, and it's up to you to rescue Princess Peach. Um, you and you, Mario and Luigi, are, with, the help of, with the help of Toad, who's going to help you out a bit. And what's interesting is that when you enter each level, instead of running and jumping on those different enemies, you do that puzzle matching I was talking about to make your enemies, to make your allies attack. What's great though is that you get to your allies or mate, your team is Mario or Luigi as your leader, then Toad as a helper, and then your allies. Your allies though are based on Bowser's baddies, like Goombas, Koopas, Piranha Plants, Bloopers, and they become part of your team, and you get to use them against 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 the baddies. So it's really fun to do that in a new way that I've never done before. So it feels like that Mario game. And on top of it, um, you can even transform them. So you can turn a Goomba into a pair Goomba, or turn a Goomba into a double stack Goomba. And you can do, yeah, you can do transformations. And the way you do that is as you're going through the levels, when you defeat enemies, you get items like pea wings or super mushrooms or Goomba coins, and those are what you need to make those transformations happen. It's also how you also get new allies on your team. They turn the blocks, and at the end of a level, you get to sign out what, what allies you got on your team to add on. So you have all these different allies you can use. You can even then transfer the experience from one to the other. So it starts building on this. But the best part is that puzzle mechanic that I talked about. Because when you start playing, it seems so simple. But it gets so much bigger when you start really trying to understand how many combinations you can really make in the game. So, so with the uh, partnership with Mario and having yeah. him in the game, what's the what kind of popularity has that driven to you guys directly? Like, where Everyone's coming here for Mario, or are they coming here for Puzzle Dragons? And yeah, it is recognized. It's been interesting because you're right. Uh, a lot of people, lot, there are a lot of really hardcore fans of the Puzzle and Dragon franchise here who know the game and they're really excited for it. But you know, a lot of fans who've never tried this type of game before, so they're intrigued to see Mario in a different light. And we've had a lot of people here coming out the booth here and over in Gung Ho's booth and in our booth over next door as well. Really getting a chance to experience the game for the first time. It's been a lot of fun seeing people get surprised by it. Awesome. Will, anything? So, I mean, you've been watching people play this game. Are, are the, I was just curious, are people playing it the way you anticipated them to play it? Or what's the, how's that going so far? People who are new to it have been playing it how I expected, where they would just simply grab an orb and move it one spot over, and then you slowly teach them to go past that. And it's been fun watching their minds just expand when they see, like, oh, they can move an orb not just one spot, but anywhere on the screen. And then taking it a, even a step further is that instead of just trying to get one orb to one end to make four in a row or something, think of the path that orb is taking, because every time the orb moves, it switches places with the orb it touches. So you have to think of all the, the chain of combos you can make on a single turn. So it's been fun in that way. And then as again, it's two games. I kind of focus a little bit more on the, on the Super Mario Bros. edition, but there is the Puzzle and Dragon Z side as well. Even when you start up the game, you can play both right from the beginning. And Puzzle and Dragon Z has a bit of a deeper story, a little bit more RPG elements. So instead of transformations, they're called evolutions. And there's uh, over 250 different monsters in, in the Puzzle and Dragon Z side. So they kind of have their own flavor to each. And you can play both or play one, then play the other later on, whatever you want to do. So, so easy to play, but still strategy involved. Easy to play, it's still strategy involved. Two, two games, one one cartridge, one price, so it's all all together in one setup. What's the release date on it? The release date is May. We haven't announced the formal release date yet. Hopefully we'll do that soon, along with the official price. So stay tuned, get more information on that coming. Okay.
Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. I know Will has one more question for you, so I'm going to let him get this ready. Uh, he has been asking everybody we've talked to this question all day long. And now there's one right answer, but what is this? I'm guessing it's a strawberry. Daniel, it's not a strawberry. I'm just... Okay, I look like you're kind of tricking me with something, so I'm no. guessing it's a strawberry. It like no, it's it's a watermelon. He just holds, he holds it upside down. We're doing a whole left brain, right brain oh. thing here, and he's everybody's going strawberry today, and I'm picking watermelon, but no one's picking my side, so... He won't, he won't do it. He won't do it. Tomorrow you should flip it. And see, no, just get serious. That might be a left brain, right brain. All right, well, anyway, Daniel, thank you so much. Uh, for all things Puzzle and Dragons and uh, all things video games in general, uh, stay tuned to Press Start TV.